What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike. And I'm John. We're the DIY Topic Guys. This channel will give you guys an inside look at the hottest trending topics, making the most noise around the world today. Three topics, three minutes each, that's our style, that's what we do here. Today's topics, we're gonna to be talking about weed laws relaxing or being more strict. We're also gonna be talking about the Mayweather Paul fight. fight. Yeah. And we're gonna be continuing down the 90s nostalgia road tour that we have been taking for the last couple episodes. So if you guys are new here, make sure you guys subscribe down below. Thank you guys for being here. Make sure you guys comment, interact with us, like, follow us on all the socials at DIY Topic Guys. Post notifications, ring that bell. And also share this with your friends if you guys like it. That way you guys can help us grow, help us grow, and also make sure that we get the name recognition that we deserve. Mm -hmm. Cut that part out. No, I totally want to. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hop into this right now, guys. Go, Mike. One of my favorite topics, possibly of all time. <laughs> well, actually, the law is not so much, but the weed part. So, weed laws, Mike. Things are getting kind of dicey out there. Things are getting weird, strange, obscure. Another synonym for all these craziness. So, federally illegal, everyone knows. Illegal with an I. Um, a lot of states, depending on where you are, almost probably about half the country now is legal, uh, at least in some sense, whether it's medical or recreational. Um, a lot of the laws don't really make any sense. Actually, most of them. I'm going to talk more specifically on Jersey because that's where we live and that's what directly affects me. And as you know, <laughs> uh, I recently opened up a grayscale area business, you might say. Um, but it's so, you know, you can't, rec it's recreational legally, legal here. So you're allowed to, if 21 and over, you can have it. You have an amount you can have, up to six ounces. For some reason, there's a limit. You and I could go to, you know, we can go to, to Budweiser or we can go to Newcastle and we can go to the brewery and we can pick up infinity cases and drive them to, across the country back to home if we wanted. Not the case with weed. Not even in the state. I understand federal and state laws are different so I can get interstate commerce but it, even within the state it doesn't make any sense. There's a limit on how much you can have even though it's legal. And then you, you're not allowed to sell it even though it's legal. So like you could grow strawberries or you could have chickens and sell those eggs. You don't have to jump through hoops to do that. But you can't have a plant and sell that. So the way that I equate weed to these days is back in, I guess, the early 70s, maybe the late 70s, something like that, when porn was becoming more and more rampant. They just made a show about, I don't remember the name of it, on HBO. If you haven't watched Real it, Sex. Is that what? No, I don't that know. Was the, that was like the HBO show. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the... But basically what it is is they were, it was taboo. Everyone wanted to do it but it was socially unaccepted. The laws had not caught up to it yet. That's how I view weed right now. Um, you have people Definitely that well. are, people are avid weed smokers. You have avid people who are anti it. Me, I'm more or less indifferent about it. I don't really care about it. Um, I don't touch the stuff, but I have friends that obviously do love <laughs> yeah, it. Obviously. <laughs> and um, do I want my kids doing it or anything like that? No, but to each his own at this point. Yeah, that's that's the reality of it. We're all adults. That's the whole thing. If you're an adult, you should be able to do whatever you want. Like, so is it 18, 21? It's 21. 21. It's 21. But there's limits, like I said, which, doesn't, which don't make any sense. I can buy as much beer as I want, and, and it's scientifically proven that this is way worse for the body. There's no alcoholic anemonism. There's a, there's a cannabinoid system, system in the body. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> I know. It's science. Cannabinoid, cannabis. There's a whole system. The cannabinoid system runs the entire body. Do I test the weed stocks now, John? Is that what you're telling me? Not yet. Not until it's federally legal. Once it's federally legal, or right before that, that's when you want to jump in those weed stocks. So Otherwise, get into it now. All right. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Let's hop into something that is really, really anticlimactic. <laughs> the Mayweather Paul. I, I can't even call it a... I can't, I'm not even going to say the word. You can't even call it an exhibition, which is what they called it, but you can't even call it that because... It's not that either. There was nothing, there was no, you know, you know, you know what was exhibited there? Slap boxing. Patheticness. <laughs> just pathetic. It was just like, you know, it, you know, it was a, it was a good symbol for what a lot of the world's become, which is like, it, it was like clickbait, but in real life. Do you know what I mean? Like it was... That's what we're going to make this video. Clickbait highlights. Make sure you guys watch and we won't talk about anything. <laughs> it's a great video. Um, no, really though, because they essentially, what they did with this fight is essentially what 
every video does for clickbait. You know what I mean? Like they, they hype it, hype it, hype it, hype it, and then it's just trash. Yeah. That is every bit of this. Mayweather probably realized that he needed to pay his bodyguards and keep his lifestyle up and good for him. That guy has built a lifestyle and I gotta say, regardless of what your opinion is of this fight or I think it's Logan Paul, I don't know if it's Jake Paul, whatever the hell it was. Yeah, it's Logan. The Paul brothers, Paul Squared. Good for him, man, because Paul, this guy Paul. is a YouTuber. Yeah. He is... Guys, if you are not trying to make something of yourself and you didn't go to school or anything like that you no longer need that anymore look at people yeah, you really what don't. they're doing you just need you need to have an idea and you want to just run with it and then you just gotta have the passion to go for it you gotta have a personality a personality helps that's it that will absolutely help you but it, it's okay so the fight was pathetic there was like a couple of good that's exchanges word. yeah i know well i don't know what else to call people people most people won't know uh what we're talking about so it was it was pathetic and you know just before we we, we started filming this, I, I showed you that I found uh, some, there's a little bit of controversy behind it. So there might be a, a Yeah, you know what I mean? So, our channel. so I'm going to put the video up here because it's only a few seconds long. But it looks Fair like. Use. it Yeah, exactly. It looks like Mayweather really did knock out Paul and then hold him up so he didn't fall. You know, and, and okay, so knockout gets misconstrued a lot. Like knockout doesn't mean like you see in the movies, like knocked out cold, like legs up in the air. Like it's a, <laughs> you could be knocked out and come back too within a few seconds. It still does just as much damage to the brain though. <laughs> Trust me. Um, it's it's crazy. For the video really, it really looked like it. I mean, yeah. he, he clearly, clear as day, like, like yeah. held it with all his, I mean, Paul's much bigger than than Mayweather and he really Mayweather really had to bend down and hold like he held yeah it was Mike Tyson's punch out type thing <laughs> yeah for real so who, who knows was it all a cash grab yes yes 100% obviously but it, it shows that's the American way right there These yes. both these guys nobody special Mayweather's got zero schooling obviously <laughs> uh, other than boxing training and and the Paul brothers are two schmoes that used to play video games and were obnoxious and then eventually matured a little bit and now they're just professional fighters somehow. Hats off to them. Oh yeah, you could we could literally do that. 90s nostalgia, keep going. Continue. Number 19, begging your parents for Nickelodeon radio. Did I you ever have one of those. I was to say, I never had one either. Um, I remembered it. Like as soon as I looked at the picture, I was like, oh shit, I remember those? But like, I never had one. I gotta be honest though, I don't remember anyone that had one either. Not me either. Side note, from looking at it, it just looks like a fucking radio. Oh, that's all it is. It's just a radio and it looks like it's got like... It doesn't shoot out gak or slime or nothing. It doesn't have like... It, it doesn't have a... Like a remember the... Uh, what were they? Talk Boys? I hope that's on this list. Remember those? The... the, the uh, Home Alone stuff. Yeah, like, you know, like it didn't have that. It had nothing. Like it's just... It has radio. like a little light. I'd rather a piece of the crag. Well, you can get one now for five hundred dollars. That crag. is the I know the crag, right? For the oh. back memories, the aggro crag. You guys know nothing about. It. Do do you have it? Guts. Let's go to Mo. <laughs> so number twenty on the list of nineties. Before we just go totally somewhere else, <laughs> slap bracelets. More specifically, the ban on slap bracelets. There was a ban on slap bracelets. You don't remember that? No. Oh, dude, they were like cutting kids, and you know, naturally, th these were. And okay, so. I'm gonna go out and limb here and say, these were all made in China, like, for sure. And like, there was, and I'm gonna hypothesize a little bit because I was young, obviously, when the ban happened. I'm assuming that it was made with some sort of chintzy metal amount of cutting kids a lot. That's my thought. Yeah, uh, I, I remember the fabric would tear on them a lot on the sides after you like slap them a million times. Yeah. So I imagine it could become like a weapon just start slashing kids. It's probably cheap metal. Uh, yeah, they were probably, I know there's kids going around school and being like, all right, let me let's slap. People were playing bloody knuckles in in middle school, so they were definitely like, oh yeah, oh we would slap the shit out of each other with these things. I mean, they were fun though. Side note, they should bring them back. Yeah, we should we should bring them back. Let's bring them back. You want to do this one real quick? Yeah. Macarena, number twenty one. Oh, top you want to go top, top up? up? I, I, can, I never remember if it was top up first or down. Top. You went top up. Do you, do you it doesn't matter, but that, but that it's all about this. <laughs> huh? I hope you play the music. Oh, I definitely. You know, we play the music. Short clips though. That's all it takes. Macarena the... took over everyone, and everyone was doing even it. Even millennials, millennials now know Macarena. Even still, it's yeah. like the chicken dance. It's one of those things that's forever going to be around forever. As long as there is DJs playing music for a crowd, for a reception, of some a, a gathering of more than twenty-five people, where there is a dance floor, they will play the Macarena. 
Is the Macarena the first song that had like a dance tied to it that everyone basically? Then like you got Cotton Eye Joe now. Yeah, then you got you got the Soldier Boy. YMCA was probably before that. YMCA. Yeah, that wasn't really a dance. That was just. Dude. Is that a dance? That... It's a, it's a line dance where they do that shit. Is it not a dance? What would you call it? A ritual? A bunch of old white people. <laughs> yeah, dude, a bunch of the, the village people. It's there. They got people have a lot of names for the village people. Maybe we should probably not get into what people will call them. That's gonna do it for today's episode, guys. We're gonna cut the list there. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for checking us out. Please subscribe, like, comment down below. If you have new ideas for stuff you want us to review and talk about, please let us know all in the comments down below. Thanks a lot again for watching. We'll check you next time.